What's up everybody, Renfail here, back again with some more World of Warcraft, and today we're diving into time walking campaigns, which are a super cool feature that let new players, like me, come in and see the old content from the expansions in a condensed format um, that helps you level up your alternate characters. And if you've never done time walking before, it basically shrinks the timeline down and condenses it for you and gives you a level 10 to level 60 experience. As of this recording, we're still in Dragonflight, and I understand that things are going to be changing a little bit with the War Within when that comes next year, but as of this recording, 2023, the way this works is um, each campaign is a 10 to 60 experience. And the easiest way to experience each one of the campaigns, if you've not done them before, is going to be to take an alt and just go through each one individually. Because there is a caveat to be able to use this system, and that is that you must first have leveled a character through the Battle for Azeroth storyline, which is the current leveling storyline, up to level 60. And then once you get to level 61 and you've done all that, you can then go back with alternative characters and go do these time walking campaigns with the NPC Chromie who I'm standing in front of right now. You can't actually see her because there's all these people, but it's this little gnome emissary of the bronze dragon flight, Chromie. Um, so uh, there is a tutorial here which we're going to walk through and I'm going to give you some explanations along the way of some of the caveats to this system. Um, it's a great way, you know, uh, I've talked about this before in other videos, but, but to give some context for the people who might be new here, I didn't play World of Warcraft when it came out. I was too busy with EverQuest 2 and then lots of other MMORPGs over the years. Lord of the Rings Online, Star Wars The Public, so on and so forth. And I got into World of Warcraft when Classic started and played up through Wrath of the Lich King Classic and loved it. But then I loved it so much, I was like, you know what, I really need to see, like, the actual retail World of Warcraft. And I dabbled a little bit when Dragonflight came out and then I got busy with lots of other things and a homestead and we moved and I didn't get a chance to really sink my teeth in until the latter part of 2023. We've been going pretty hard for the past month. Um, we've got our guild formed up, Risen, on the Moonguard server. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. You can totally come and join us if you want. We're currently doing Dragonflight. We're prepping up for the World Soul Saga the next three years. Um, but um, I didn't get to experience everything before Battle for Azeroth. Now, in the course of leveling, I've played Battle for Azeroth, Shadowlands, and, of course, Dragonflight in terms of storyline. Uh, but I'm still missing all that stuff in the middle, which is essentially... And I might be missing one or two here, but it's Catac I'm off the top of my head. Cataclysm, uh, Mist of Pandaria, Warlords of Draenor, and Legion, right? The Burning Legion expansion. So there's four expansions that I haven't seen or know anything about in terms of storyline. So what I've done is I've created four different alternate characters. Um, and I've previously played through the Time Walking campaign. I did it for um, Shadowlands already, so I've already gone through and done this with other alts. But in this case, on this server, on the Moonguard server, I'm doing the four expansions that I haven't done before. Um, and I've made it a lore-appropriate character, I like to think, for each one of those storylines. So for those of you who want to fo follow along for all of this stuff beyond this guide, um, make sure to follow the playlist because we're doing a let's play series around each individual campaign as we go through them and we're starting off with cataclysm with my druid here um so we're going to start with that i've got a pandarian monk for the mist of pandaria i've got a night elf a demon hunter for the uh, legion campaign and i've got a, a draenor mage a draenor mage for that campaign so it's gonna be fun anyway um there's a tutorial here and we're going to go through this. Um, I've already leveled a character through Battle for Azeroth, so I can now use the time walking feature. Now, before we get into the tutorial here, there are a few caveats to think about. One is that um, the time walking campaigns are only meant to be for 10 to 60, and then you're meant to go to Dragonflight and do the current content. So when you go through and do one of these time walking campaigns, it will kick you out when you get up to that cap. So you need to turn off your XP. And you could do that by visiting an NPC in town. I'll have another um, um, guide on that. But essentially, to turn off XP, you can visit the Experience Eliminator at your Faction City capital um, and turn it off. But it is important to understand that you can only do it for characters that are level 60 or, um, excuse me, uh, 59 or below. You cannot disable XP gains for characters at level 60 or above. So you have to do this at level 59. So it's very important that as you're leveling through the um, time walking campaigns, if you don't want to get kicked out of the campaigns, because the system will kick you out as soon as you get to that cap, 
Um, make sure to turn off your experience gains at level 59 so that you can continue to complete the storyline campaign and even though you're going to you would have technically leveled beyond level 60. That is one of the caveats here. This is meant for 10 to 60. The system won't let you in until you're 10, and it'll kick you out when you get beyond the cap. So turn off XP at your faction city. Again, check out the guide on turning off XP. Um, and then you'll be able to continue doing the storyline, and the system can't kick you out. And then you can get done and go to Dragonflight from there. Or if you want to, you could take that level 59 character and go play through other stuff. But it, the scaling is going to be weird if you try to do other time-walking campaigns. So... Think about it that way. It's best to do it one per alt. Now, you can duck in and duck out of various campaigns, but I find that to be somewhat counterproductive to learning the lore like I'm doing. So if you're someone who's new to the game and you're trying to you know, play through these campaigns in order um, to experience content you might have never seen before, it's going to be better to do it with a different alt uh, each time. That way you're starting fresh, it all scales with you, and you get through towards the end, and it's going to be awesome. So... Um, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, everybody, so you get more of the same from me here. Check out the playlists as well. We do tons of different games, not just World of Warcraft. Play a lot of CRPGs, RPGs, shooter games, sport. I play everything. Also, movie reviews and the like. Um, and if you want to join us on the Moon Guard server in our guild, Risen, all you got to do is check out the Discord, ping me directly. I'll get you an invite. You can fill out an app and, and go from there. Um, and, of course, check out all the other World of Warcraft stuff we're doing. Um, but let's talk about the campaign here. Um, not only do you need to think about turning off the XP, um, you got to find the character in your chosen city. Um, in the um, Alliance side, it's going to be near the Stormwind Embassy, and if you're on the Horde side, it's going to be near the Augurmar Embassy. Um, if you've already leveled a character through the first time, what's going to happen when you get out of the tutorial, if you've done like the Exiles Reach Island and you get out of that, um, you're going to be prompted when you get to your Alliance, your Allegiance City, it's going to say, hey, do you want to do this intro to the Allegiance City or do you just want to skip that intro and go straight to Chromie? You just skip it and go straight to Chromie and start your time walking campaign. So without further ado, let me move this window out of the way and let's actually talk to Chromie a little bit because she does have some tutorials for people. So. The first thing you can do if you're new to this is you can ask her about the time walking campaigns and there's a great series of tutorials here. It's kind of just overviews. Um, what are time walking campaigns? Okay, so I'm a bronze dragon, she says, so I can help you walk through time to explore Azeroth's history. While in a time walking campaign, that time will be brought to your level so every adventure feels like a new rewarding experience so the content scales. All you have to do is tell me the timeline you'd like to explore. Well, what timelines should I choose? That's a great question. There are so many to explore. It's hard to pick just one. What would be your ideal adventure? And so you could pick from this if you would want to, because it's literally like, I want to explore Azeroth, or I want to command my own garrison, you know, things of that nature. And these will prompt you to try a specific expansion storyline. Or you could just go to the wiki and read down the ones and go in order of the ones you want to do. Um, so I'm going to ask another question. What if I don't want to stay in a timeline I chose? Oh, you can always hop over another one at any time. All of Azeroth is brought to your level, so explore to your heart's content. When you've gained enough experience to take on today's challenges, you'll leave the Time Walking Campaign. That's that level cap, 10 to 60. Um, I'll be here to take you to help you out, so if you want to leave your current timeline early or choose a specific line, timeline, speak to me. I have another question. What about my friends? Of course. Send them my way, and they can join the same Time Walking Campaign as you. Otherwise, your friends might not be able to see you while you're in a different timeline. Something else if you want to play with your friends. What well, me and my brother do, and what I've often done with friends, is we'll start characters together. They're in the same timeline, and we'll just stay to that timeline where we're all having fun together. And then we sort of just all choose by consensus when we're ready to leave the timeline and move on to the current content. So, um, I'm ready to select a timeline, is what she has there. So, let's go back in here. This is recommended here. Once you've decided what you want to do with your character, you're, you're at least level 10. You've gotten to where you want to be. You can come in here and select a timeline. Now here's where you presented with this menu, which is a great tool for going through and picking um, what campaign is going to be best for your character. Now in this case, um, I'm going to be doing the, uh, with this particular character, I'm doing the Cataclysm because I've already seen the first three, the base game, Burning Crusade, Wrath of the Lich King. So now it's time for me to do Cataclysm. And then I've got um, my monk is ready for Wilds of Pandaria and my um, um, 
After that is Draenor. I've got my Mage ready for Draenor, and I've got my Night Elf ready for the Legion invasion. So, And those three are characters that are lore-specific. I'm creating the new class for each one of those to play through those. Um, whereas this one, I just I wanted to do a Druid. So um, my Hunter is my main, um, at least until War Within, and then I'll be rolling the Protection Warrior to get up um, for raid tanking and stuff. But anyway, um, once you're here, you pick your campaign, and that's it. That's all she wrote. Um, and then you will um, be entered into that campaign you'll start off and you just follow the storylines from there it's literally that easy and then you go through that campaign now again the caveat to all of this is that the speed at which it takes you to do a campaign is going to largely be based on um, how you're playing so if you're space barring and escaping to skip through all this you know storyline content and you're just there for the leveling experience it's probably going to be much quicker for you and what you might find is that you get to level 25 35 or whatever quick commercial break everyone to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time really appreciate the support all you got to do is join as a member you get access to private videos you can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see and beyond that don't forget we're multi-streaming over on twitch now so you can support over there as well thanks so much to everybody let's get back to the video at hand and you're done with the storyline content for that timeline, what you'll need to do is back out and pick another timeline um, if you're only doing the main storyline content. However, what I've found and the way that I do it is usually the main storyline content for any given timeline is not going to necessarily be enough to get you a little 60. It might be somewhere between 35 and 55, I've found. It just depends on the timeline. Um, and what you can do is side quests. All the side quests you find around you, because all that content scales to your level. So if you find yourself in a campaign and you're starting to feel like you're not quite getting enough levels or you're not quite ready to go to the next, you know, you're, you want to get another couple of things, just go do side quests. Because you can do all the side quests that that expansion has available, even though the main campaign is your primary objective um, to get through the storyline. So like I said, I, I find that the ballpark is around 25 hours of content-ish to go from 10 to 60. That's not to say that there's 25 hours of storyline in every given campaign. That's just what I've found for my pacing is about how long it takes me to go through. Um, and it's, like I said, going to be different for everybody based on whether or not you're immersing yourself in the lore or if you're just space boring through, you know, are you just going as quickly as possible? I know a lot of people immediately will recommend that you do Draenor because it's got the, I've heard two, one's Draenor and the other one is um, Legion. I've heard people both examples given is like go do this one because it's the fastest way to level 60 and there's so many quests and, and bonuses and everything else um, if you've already played through the content a couple times and you're you're working on getting a character there to max as quickly as possible that's legitimate advice but if you're new like I am and you just want to see all the storyline that you missed that's what this is here for take your time you could do it like I do it or do it however you want I'm taking one individual character through each storyline in its entirety and putting those up as let's play series on YouTube because it's content creation for me and it's also storyline I've never got to see before and I get to enjoy a new character and figure out if I like that as a legitimate alt or if it's just something I play one time and stick it on the trophy shelf but it's a lot of there's a lot of great content in World of Warcraft to explore the game's been out for 19 years almost 20 years next year it'll be 20 years so if you're someone like me coming into it very late into its lifespan it's like oh well crap I've got all this story to get caught up on. How do I do that? Time walking campaigns. It's an awesome feature. Um, I think every game should do it like this. Um, and I'm going to take advantage of it and level it up. So if all that sounds like fun to you and you liked this guide, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Daily streams happen at 5.30 a.m. and 8 p.m. Central Time. There's a Discord for general stuff. We also have a Discord for the Guild if you want to come join us on the Moon Guard server. Check out all the other playlists because I do play a ton of other games. Mulder Shiman, Twitch, YouTube, all that good stuff. See you next time, everybody. Stay safe and happy gaming.